Welcome to vSkills YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for purchasing and material management. So, let's get started. Question number one What are the uses of vendor management software? The answer is in every procurement department, vendor management software is an excellent choice and a good resource. It supports all of the processes which should be done by every procurement department, like firstly, to keep track of vendor performance metrics. Secondly, draw attention to subpar vendor performance. Thirdly, opportunities for vendor performance improvement. Question number two, discuss the requirement of material needs on a daily basis. The answer is, the right approach to the day-to-day -day requirement of material needs is, the right way of communication. To be proactive and, be updated on daily basis by having all the information from sales team, logistics manager, by getting detailed report about the stocks we have in warehouse. The accurate and precise calculations are needed to determine the exact quantity needed on daily basis in different shifts so that the productivity should not lack behind. Though the data, is always updated on the company's interface and, all the information is provided just by one click but, if at last minute there is a, requirement of material needs on urgent basis then, communication plays a key role in providing full support of the team. Question number 3, what is the best possible way? by which good relationships are maintained with the suppliers. The answer is, the best possible way, to maintain relationships with the buyers is, to communicate with them. The orders should be placed on time and understand their requirements if, they have any issues. By developing good rapport building and good interactions make strong connections. One should visit the suppliers personally whenever, it is required and take interest in looking over their factories and showing the concern builds positivity among each other. When we are connected over mails, calls, or through paper correspondence the personal visit adds good impression which strengthen the association with the suppliers. When we are known, to the suppliers on personal level we can get a good negotiation over the price which suits to both the parties at the end. Question number 4, what is the role of, monitoring and reporting when your job profile is material manager? The answer is, while being the material manager, the role of monitoring and reporting is very crucial. When the manager monitors stocks, he gets updated with information on how much material is needed for different shifts on daily basis. The reporting plays an important role as well. The interface can show all the data of stocks and material needs in the production according to the orders received and to be fulfilled. When there will be a proper interaction, with the staff and day-to-day -day data monitoring and observing and, calculations will lead to proper reporting of the material supplies in the warehouse. Question number 5. What was your experience when you faced a tight deadline order to deliver at work? The answer is, it is all about dedication and how efficiently one can foresee things and make it work with sheer determination and cooperation. After all, deadline has to be met at work so that there is accurate delivery of the order and one should not lack behind to fulfill one's duty. One should have a positive attitude and build up favorable environment so that nobody should feel left out and it should be a teamwork. During overtime as well when the production requirements needed to meet the specific deadline one should be, ready to fulfill all the requirements and challenges occur under such pressure. By prioritizing the tasks, one can achieve the timeline set to show the deliverance. Question number 6, how will you manage the data related to purchase? The answer is, managing data and metrics for purchasing and material management is an essential task and, it involves storing and processing data as per requirement. Access is provided as per the role of the employee. Also, data monitoring across the company is undertaken for sensitive information. Question number 7. What has been your experience with IoT products in material management? The answer is, IoT expands to Internet of Things and it refers to applying computing devices which can connect to a network for data gathering, analysis and decision making. They have revolutionized material management as it provides automation and has led to the emergence of Industry 4.0. I have extensive experience in using IoT and material management and using it for analysis and decision making. It helps in improved utilization and maintenance. Question number 8. What are the current material management technologies you dealt with? The answer is, yes, I am having experience with various recent material management technologies which includes predictive maintenance, smart sensors, cyber physical systems, CPS, cloud computing, artificial intelligence and the industrial internet of things. It. Question number 9. What do you think of the most important role of a material manager? The answer is, as a material manager, 
my focus is to provide the materials needed at any stage of production at optimum levels so as to fulfill the customer demand with least cost towards storage though maintaining optimum inventory levels. Adopting material management technologies which are more efficient and effective for the organization. Reducing costs without losing on quality or speed of production is the primary motto. Question number 10. What do you understand by cost savings that is appropriate for executive management? The answer is, there is a different understanding of cost savings for procurement professionals and executive management. Standard financial statements like, scorecard is used by executive management for the business. At times, the working of financial statements like discussed above is not understood by procurement professionals. As a result, they face difficulty in reporting cost savings which is considered legitimate. The language of accounting is the answer to the procurement professionals which is the right way of communicating with executive management because, cost savings appears like this on organization's data on the organization's official financial statements. Question number 11, what is the impact of, purchase and material management on the goals of a company? The answer is, purchase and material management, is an important function of the company which has both short-term and long-term impact on the organization. Manager purchase and material management function, fulfills the need of company for material, at right time, place and cost. The long-term impact is addition of efficiency and cost reduction with an effective purchase and material management and short-term impact is, of not stopping production due to non-availability of material. Question number 12. What influences when you have to produce cost savings in a short period of time? The answer is, the two main aspects of spend analysis that determines the category for producing cost savings in a short period of time is, effort and impact. A quadrant representing the four combinations of these two factors can be created in your spend analysis, all categories of spend identified should be assigned to one of this quadrant. To produce cost savings in a short time frame the categories of spend with low effort and high impact should be considered first. Question number 13. What is the right process, while conducting a sourcing initiative? The answer is, first, there should be right understanding of the category which should clearly define the sourcing category or commodity. Secondly, know the supply market to develop a sourcing strategy. Thirdly by selecting a suitable sourcing process so that the selection of a suitable supplier and negotiating terms can be done. Next step, will be implementing and integrating and lastly by reporting and tracking results the process is completed. Question number 14, what tasks are performed by a purchase and material manager? The answer is, a purchase and material management is responsible for management of the purchase function and the material management function in the company which focuses on providing material to the company at right time, place and cost. Also, storing optimum quantity and least cost to the company. Purchase and material management is focused on having an efficient and effective purchase and material management in the company for achieving the organizational goals as per the specified KPIs, key performance indicators. Question number 15. How do you assign goals to your purchase and material management team? The answer is, assignment of goals to the purchase and material management team involves, analyzing various factors before assignment which are as per the SMART approach for goals definition and assignment. Other than SMART. Other factor is the availability of the resource. Question number 16. Why are you suitable as a purchase and material manager? The answer is, as a purchase and material manager, I am having extensive experience in both purchase and material management with requisite skills including, communication, problem solving and coping under pressure which is of importance for purchase and material management role. Question number 17. Do you feel satisfied with your role as purchase and material manager? The answer is, I feel satisfied as purchase and material manager as, I am able to provide my services for effective long-term plan for purchase and material management and also, manage efficiently and effectively the present purchase and material in the organization. Question number 18, how you keep yourself updated of new trends in purchase and material management? The answer is, purchase and material management is seeing, newer development every year and, I update myself by attending industry seminars conferences is available online or offline. Question number 19. What is your greatest work-related accomplishment in purchase and material management? The answer is, my greatest work-related accomplishment in purchase and material management has been, the automation of material pickup by AMRs which was completed within the time and budget constraints. Question number 20. What are your strengths as a, purchase and material manager? The answer is, as a purchase and material manager, 
I am having extensive experience on the new purchase and material management technologies as well as, managing the present purchase and material management technologies. I also have the requisite managerial skills for purchase and material management. Question number 21, how do you manage conflict in your purchase and material management team? The answer is, conflicts arise, due to the disagreements amongst the purchase and material management team members and which is managed by focusing on the reason for conflict. If needed, we can use conflict management technique like collaborating, forcing, accommodating or compromising as per the situation. Question number 22, how do you manage your time for purchase and material management? The answer is, purchase and material management involves, lots of tasks which need to be completed in a specific time frame. Hence, time management is of utmost importance and is applied by using, to-do lists, being aware of time wasters and, optimizing work environment. Question number 23, what could be the reason, for change management of an organization due to purchase and material management? The answer is, purchase and material management involves, introducing new vendors and technologies for increasing efficiency and be competitive. These tasks usually involve, change management to be implemented. Hence, before any changes, planning and, implementation of the change is undertaken involving all stakeholders. Question number 24, what is UCC? Uniform Commercial Code. The answer is, it is the code 1 should be aware of as it is widely used if someone is operating in the United States and purchasing goods from U.S. suppliers. Within the U.S. the body of law that covers the sale and purchase of goods above a certain monetary threshold is, UCC. Question number 25, explain the negotiation with a, supplier that's difficult. The answer is, during negotiation, if the supplier is difficult then, they should be approached carefully. When negotiation techniques are used depending upon, the circumstances while negotiation. When we have more suppliers availability in hands, the procurement department can easily use more hardball style as their tactics of negotiation. In the case, where procurement department have fewer option of the suppliers than persuasion techniques like, selling style is used. Question number 26, the department wants to order equipment over your budget, what will be the right thing for you to do? The answer is, when department requests to place an order that's going over budget in that scenario there are many options available. First, to be considered is to directly place the refusal of the order which is not so professional approach to be taken. The other option that one can consider is, with internal customers to lease the equipments instead of buying them. There are many options available. For handling a request to make a purchase that exceeds an internal customer's budget, one should directly refuse to place the order which is kind of least professional approach one has to take in such situation. The suitable option that can be considered is, to ask internal customer not to buy the equipment but opt for leasing the same. Question number 27, what is the step-by-step, -step procedure for purchasing? The answer is, the buyer should know the various steps of purchasing process even in the most planned procurement roles it is very important, for the buyer to know all the steps for purchasing. The steps include. 1. To determine a need, communicate the need. 2. Review the need. 3. Search of potential buyers. 4. Conduct bidding or negotiation. 5. Selection of supplier. 6. Formalize the commitment. And the last, follow up, close out the transaction. Question number 28. Explain the way, you keep your records of supplies. The answer is, there are various factors that are considered before keeping the record of the supplies. The factors are like, supplies cost, supplies uses, for consumption versus for use in manufacturing or billable services, the cost of keeping records versus the cost of poor supply records etc. in case of, higher value and higher volume supplies which are considered to be direct costs. To track supplies a computerized inventory management system is used. This should be done for various reasons like, replenishment efficiency, accuracy in accounting and more others. Question number 29, according to you, what is risk management? The answer is, when we discuss about risk management it is said that, it is the process for identifying, understanding and grading which includes assessing and managing of risks. It is done to better and mitigate the management of risk in procurement to be sure of unexpected or undesirable outcomes which can be minimized along with achieving objectives of the procurement. Good procurement is the essential part of risk management. Question number 30. Discuss the building of a, sourcing strategy. The answer is, during the building of a source strategy we first have to create a saving strategy outline, 
which will list all the tasks that includes in the plan for the accomplishment of the same during a sourcing initiative. With the all the tasks, we will list target commencement dates, target commencement dates, actual commencement dates, target completion dates, actual completion dates, target annual savings and actual annual savings. At the beginning of sourcing initiative, our saving strategy online should only contain target dates. As the progression is made through sourcing initiative, we will add actual dates. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.